see if I can get that. That might be it. No, I don't. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is Apostle Eddie Cologne website, and you can get more information about his ministry. And of course, this is what we try to do here. We try to uh, promote people's uh, ministry or their business, or perhaps they teach a class, you know, or maybe they have some special project of theirs that they would like to have promoted. You can do that here. All you have to do is contact me at the soul ministry at gmail.com. And just let me know, and we can get you some free promotion. We're not charging for this. Amen. Amen. If you want to become a client afterwards, that's one thing. But uh, these interviews, they are free. Amen. Somebody ought to praise God. Hallelujah. All right. So that's his uh, website. Okay. Now, let me see. Can I get some more information to kind of broadcast there? That's his one. Then he has another website here, apparently. So let me try to get that as well. Then we're going to deal with Pastor Joy. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's get this. Put it through it there. And. All right. This is another website by uh, Apostle Eddie Colon. All right. And you can see it. www. K. Okay. L I M as in Mary B as in boy dot U S All right W W W dot K L I M B dot U S Amen Amen So those two are for uh, brother Eddie Cologne, okay. The first one was Apostle Eddie at K L I M B dot U S. Apostle Eddie is one word A P O S T L E E D D I E at K L I M and that's M as in Mary B as in boy dot U S. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, for our main guest on today, we want to give her website here. All right. And here we go. Now, you can see it's www.c-e-n-t-e-r-o-f-j-o-y dot org not dot com but dot org all right that's www dot c e n t e r o f j o y dot org amen now she left some more information i need to flash that before we get out of here we we are running out of time here, so let me kind of be a little quicker here. She left a phone number as well. All right. Here we go. Let's get up here. Create. And here it is. Now, here's her phone number. This is for Pastor Joy or Pastor Marlon Marlene. That's M-A-R-L-I-N-E, 
Thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S. All right. And this is the phone number, 347, that's the area code, 626-7580. That's 347-626-7580. Okay, so I hope that you've gotten all that information. And by the way, one more time, let me remind you that if you would want to get free promotion for your business, your ministry, your class, or a special event, you can contact us at The Soul Ministry, T-H-E-S-O-U-L, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y at gmail.com. All right, so I want to thank you for spending some time with me on today. And we uh, just pray that you have a blessed rest of your day. Amen, amen, amen. We ask right now at this time, oh God, that your wisdom, Lord God, your mind, Lord God, continue to guide them right now, Lord God. Continue to lead them right, right now, Lord God. Even in the midst of great conversation and criticism, Lord God, and critiquing and condemnation, Lord God, let them stand in assurance. Let them stand in peace and power, Lord God, of what you have required of them at this time, Lord God. To much is given, much is required. That's what you have called, Lord God. That's what you have said, Lord God. Father, you have given them this task, Lord God, and you require nothing but excellence from them, oh God. Father, we pray that the excellence and the perfecting power of you be upon them, with them, and their families, oh God.
Okay. All right, all right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Okay, now. Testing. All right, we are here. Okay, let us get our opening little music going and we will start the program. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, my God. It is so wonderful to be with you guys one more time. This is the Soul Ministry. I am your happy host, Dr. Les Barrett. So glad to be with you. Hallelujah. Let's give God some praise. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, God has blessed us to have a radio platform and a TV platform, and we're also able to restream our programs right here on social media. Uh, you will be seeing them on different social media sites. So it is a pleasure to be able to have folk who want to come on and share uh, a little bit of themselves with us. I am so happy for this young man that I will be introducing a little bit later. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever had a friend who was uh, so close, you, you know, you guys were so close that y'all became relatives, even though you might not have been born relatives, but because of the great love that you have for each other, you be Cain relatives, that is a wonderful thing, amen, just to know that sometimes your family is not by blood, your family is by the choice that you made to become family. Somebody ought to praise God right there, because see, one thing we know for sure is that God wants all of us to be part of a family. <laughs> The 
you see, in case you didn't know, uh, God, God, what he did, he sent his son so that we would all be blood related. Oh, hallelujah. So we're all family. Uh, once we accept Jesus as our Savior, we're all family. Uh, yes, we are all blood related. And we can all just go to our heavenly father, the one and only God of the universe, the one who woke us up this morning, the one who started us on our way, who filled our hearts with love, who filled our hearts with joy, who filled our hearts with peace. Oh my God, every good gift and every perfect gift come from the Father above, and whom there is no shadow of turning. So that's why we are so glad to be uh, related by the blood of Jesus. Uh, somebody know that there's power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, the same power that uh, cleansed us in the initial stages of our uh, Christian walk. Oh, it still uh, it has the same power even today. And we can still call upon the name of Jesus. We can still call upon the name of Jesus and say, oh Lord, cover us with the blood. The blood will wash away our sins. The blood will bring us closer to our God. The blood will just make us the new creatures that God has intended for us to be. Uh, we have moved from death into life. We are in a new dimension right now. We see a, a new day. There's a fresh anointing right now, and we just want to give God praise each and every day. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Yes, I said uh, earlier, this is the soul ministry. And at this hour, normally what we have is our sports talk slash medical advice segment. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about some sports. And, I, you know, people might say, well, why is a Christian station talking about sports? Because sports has uh, the one thing that we really relate to, and that's victory. So we're going to be talking about some victory. We have victory in Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Uh, Paul says uh, we have victory over the grave. So we just want to talk about things that are victorious. We want to talk about things that encourage us. We want to talk about things that help us to lift up our bow down heads. Uh, sometimes we'll look at the clock on the wall and know that we don't have much time and the pressure is on, the heat is on, but uh, we can call upon the name of the Lord and know that we will be saved. Uh, he will come and see about his children. That's the one good news that we have about our God. Oh, we just thank God for blessing us each and every day. Hallelujah. And then uh, at some point, I'm going to bring up my, well, he calls me uncle, so I have to call him nephew. I'm going to bring up my nephew, and he's going to just share a little bit about himself, you know, and I'm just going to just talk to him because, you know, uh, that's how much we love each other. We can just converse. It don't have to be on anything specific. We just love each other, and so we just converse. That's all it is. It's just going to be a little fireside chat. Don't, you know, nothing to it. We're just going to do it. That's all it is to it. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me just start this program off now. Let's start it off. We got a lot to talk about in the world of sports today. Hallelujah. It's a lot going on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see what our top story is. Okay. Now, here's a story I want to bring to you right here. Uh, it says two members of U.S. House adds new elements to bill on NCAA athletes' name, image, and likeness. This is a story uh, that's on USA Today Sports and was by Steve Ber Berkowitz of USA Today about an hour ago. So, hey, you get it fresh off the press. Amen. And here we go. Here we go. Got to queue up, queue it up, and <clears throat> here we go. Uh, one more time, this uh, a story is from USA Today Sports by Steve Berkowitz about an hour ago. All right. It says two members of the U.S. House of Representatives are reintroducing a bipartisan bill on Monday regarding college athletes' ability to make money from their name, image, and likeness. The measure from Representative uh, Anthony Gonzalez, who is a Republican from Ohio, and Emmanuel Cleaver, Cleaver, 
a Democrat from Missouri, is largely similar to the version that they offered last September, but was not acted upon before their congressional session ended. However, according to a copy of the bill provided to USA Today Sports, there are changes that could benefit athletes more than their initial measure did. This becomes the third bill related to college sports and the issue of name, image, and likeness. And they have an abbreviation here, an acronym NIL, to be introduced during this congressional session. But unlike bills from Senator Jerry Moran, a Republican from Kansas, and from the tandem of Senator Chris Murphy, a Democrat from Connecticut, and Representative Laurie Trahan, a Democrat from Massachusetts. This one has support from multiple legislators from both parties. Three other Democrats and three other Republicans have signed on as co-sponsors. All right, now this story goes on, and by, by the way, as I mentioned, you can find this in USA Today Sports. And all that I'm reading from comes from Microsoft News. So I'm not going to read the whole story this time because there, we have a whole lot more stories to read. And let me see. And I'm going to try to get at least one or two more in before we take a break. And after that break, as I mentioned, we're going to introduce you to uh, nephew. Amen. Amen. So let me get to this next story and see how much we can get done. Let me just make this comment, though, on this particular story. It's about high time, I think society recognizes that it's high time that these athletes start to capitalize off of their uh, names and their uh, image and, and their likeness and all that type of thing. Uh, it's about high time because, as we know, uh, historically, colleges have made so much money off the student athlete, and it's like ridiculous. And a lot of times, the athletes can barely eat. And if they take a little money from somebody, they're ineligible to go on into the, you know, the draft uh, and become a professional uh, athlete. They, they somehow get eliminated from that. So it's about high time that they really start doing some serious work in that regard. Amen. Amen. Let me find this next story, though, before we go. Well, this story uh, kind of combines sports and medicine. Um, that's what this segment is all about. Same time due to health.